problem that's even more confusing. In this example, our equation that the line has to be parallel to is y equals 2. And a lot of times, students will have, get confused on this problem because it's not technically like in slope-intercept form. Remember, slope-intercept form, we're looking like this, y equals mx plus b. We don't really have a, you know, a slope. We just have a number 2. Um, but remember, if when we have y equals, it still is y equals 2, but we can rewrite this as y equals 0x plus 2. So in reality, what you can do is see that 0 is going to be your slope. Okay. So if there's a number for the y that you're saying, it's always going to be 0 for the n? If you just have like a y, yeah, because what does this produce? This produces a horizontal line. Right? And remember, horizontal lines always have a slope of 0. Okay? Um, so y equals 0 times x plus 2. So that's going to be our slope. So therefore, we know that the equation, if, if this is par if this line's horizontal, our new line also has to be horizontal. Right? Now, rather than doing the algebra, I'm going to make this try to make sense algebraically. We know the line is at y equals 2. It's a horizontal line. We know our new line also has to be horizontal, but it has to go through the point 8, negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's like right here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what is the horizontal line that goes through 8, negative 7? We know it has to be horizontal, right? So does anybody know what the equation would be? It's a horizontal line. It has to be horizontal because this one has to be, yes, Andrew? y equals negative 7. You can do the same algebra and stuff that we did before. But in this case, you can see that the line has to be parallel to this. So it has to be a horizontal line, and it has to go through that point. Well, at this point, that's negative 7. So y equals negative 7. Kind of makes sense a little bit. Can you read? How did you get that dot? How did I get that dot? 